Hello everyone and welcome back to the Mystery Dungeon Randomizer series and in case you haven't noticed, YouTube is giving you the option to watch it at 1080p 60fps instead of the previous 720p 30fps because I am finally able to play on a fully upgraded PC. So uh, I know this technically isn't my first video on the new PC, it's, uh, it's my second video on the new PC, but... I'm very excited about this. <laughs> like, I have, I've never been so excited. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so straight up, I got my new PC fairly recently. I got this new laptop. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's gonna do the whole shenanigans with the cafe where it's basically gonna say, hey, you can do the recycle shop stuff now. Yada yada, I don't care about it. But hey, I'll use this opportunity to talk over it and say, uh, yeah. So I, I've been kind of playing a few different games on this PC that I've never been able to play before. Um, for instance, GTA V. I got that a year ago when it was free on the Epic's Game Store, and I've never, never been able to play it. And I'm finally able to play it now, and that is just genuinely so exciting. Like, oh, it's such a fun game. I can see why everyone's so in love with it. Um, I'm finally able to play Minecraft again, which I don't know if you'd seen the previous Minecraft video that I had. Um, I, I recorded some Minecraft with Trace uh, a decent a while ago, a few months or something. Uh, and it was incredibly laggy because my computer just could not handle it. And, uh, uh now I can, and now I can handle it really well. And I'm very excited about that. And then also in addition, I, as you could see, the previous video I had was that Splunky 2 video and that went flawlessly. There were not any like major glitches or anything, no frame drops. I'm really excited about that. Of course, Splunky HD, like Splunky HD and Splunky 2, they're hopefully going to follow that same pattern. I played Splunky HD for the previous video instead of Splunky 2 because I wanted to make the joke about haha. Splunky. Um, but yeah, I it's just I'm very excited about this. This is this is a very good computer. I'm very hyped about it. And uh I hope that this winds up being yeah, the kind of the start of a new era for ODI Seth. I don't know exactly what everything means, uh, but I think for this recording, we shouldn't expect to see any like major freezes or frame jobs like we have in the previous episodes. Uh and that's just that's it's so nice to be able to have that kind of like security blanket, you know, know that I'm not going to have to worry about that again. Oh, I don't have any storage space. Okay. Um, oh, and that's right, because the, the recycle shop just got unveiled today. I can't use it. Shoot. Okay. Here's Okay, I'm just going to leave everything as it is right now, and I'll come back whenever I get the chance to. Because I think tomorrow, or tomorrow in game, is when uh, the next... Tomorrow in game is when the recycle shop should be able to come back. So, hopefully by the time that happens, uh, I'll I'll have tons of items to recycle. Because Lord knows I already have tons of items to get rid of, and I I would rather not sell them. I'd rather recycle them if possible. Oh come on, really? A monster house already? That's fun. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna set it to Aaron, and we're just gonna go the opposite direction. Because as long as no Pokemon steps in this tile right above me where I am, Roosevelt shouldn't get distracted. Okay, Roosevelt is getting a little distracted. Aha! Okay, so yeah, we're good. We're, we're free right there. Oh, but we're not free for long. Okay, so apparently the substitute got broken. Hey, we'll take a Krikatoon to help us out here. Sure, why not? <laughs> Krikatoon, don't don't fight. Okay, well, Krikatoon's going to slow them down for me. That's what's up. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Krikatoon, you joined our team purely to be sacrificed to the monster house. I'm so sorry. Yep. <laughs> All right. Oh, come on. No, 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 Sviper. I do not want you getting in fights. You are a client and we cannot let you die. That is not allowed. Not in this house. Okay, Rattata, sure, why not? We'll take a Rattata. <laughs> Look, I'm never gonna complain about new Pokemon. I'm a huge fan of that more avoidant strategy we're going for, where we use the substitute to distract the whole monster house and we just kind of get out of there and start fighting them. like. That's a pretty good strategy. I'm pretty fine with that. I can enjoy it a lot. This looks like an interesting room right here. Yup. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Okay, well, good news is that the stairs are, like, right there. It shouldn't be too hard to get to them. Why would you use heart swap now when there's nothing to swap? <laughs> All right, who do I want to use? I think I want to use it on Sceptile right here. We'll let Sceptile be the decoy, and we'll just try to, like, sneak around it a little bit. All right, well, the, the substitute's dead, but good news is, okay, so we use it on that one, and hopefully this should give us enough room. I think I just need two more turns to get to the stairs. Like, come on. One more turn to get to the stairs. One more, come on. Stay alive for a little bit. 
I'll take the level up. Sure, why not? And the turn has come. I just gotta wait it out. No one's gonna die here. We're fine. We're doing all right. I'm going to... Okay, mm sure. Okay, good. <laughs> all right, and we're out of there. Boom. No issues. Come on. This looks like a monster house. Don't let it be a monster house. Thank goodness it's not a monster house. Ah. <sighs> I don't know what I would have done if it was another monster house. <laughs> but yeah, I was talking a little bit about like how I got my new PC and all that jazz. Um, when I re-downloaded Streamlabs OBS for this, it remembered like the layout I had for everything. So for all the games and stuff, that's why you're able to see the exact same layout and all that jazz. Um, and I was able to like transfer over my my game save data, but I was not, however, able to like properly carry over the. Ex how did Rattata die? Hold on, what? Okay, whatever. Oh, it was the bad weather. Gotcha. I see now. But yeah, so it's... Revi oh my god, I should not start... Every time I ch start talking, I get distracted by something. Okay, well, we'll swap the dubious disc for that, but I will happily take a Reviver Seed. Um, yeah, what was I trying to say? I was trying to say that, like, Streamlabs did not, however, properly... Oh, now you're trying to run? How dare. Impossible. Not allowed. Uh, do I have any rare fossils? That would be helpful. Here. <laughs> I do! Ha-ha! Come on, one more. There it is. Perfect. Love that. All right. But yeah, it might not carry over the exact same, like, audio settings, the visual settings and stuff like that. So if things sound different, uh, it might just be because, like, it's encoded differently. And, like, also my computer is just the way it handles audio in general. Like, so I, I'm listening at the same overall volume as I used to listen to this like game at uh but on my old computer this was like 50 percent of its max volume this is like 20 of this computer's max volume uh so it's just it, there's there's gonna be a bunch of small little like dynamic changes that might happen unintentionally as a result of this new computer uh but the unintentional ones i will slowly iron out to make more the way i want them to be and the intentional ones like not having crazy amounts of lag every single uh time that would be I'll, I'll, I'll definitely be sure to keep that around because i'm very excited to not have to worry about any sort of lag or any sort of like frame drops or anything this is, this is it's nice it's very good i'm very much appreciative of the situation that this new computer has given me <laughs> let's go ahead and save this obama snow right here and uh get rid of survivor because survivor hasn't really been any use at all Oh, come on! Kind of making me walk all the way around and fighting me out just to get to the stairs. Come on, really? Yeah, the main reason I even bring up the potential, like, audio issues is because uh, this is actually the second time I've tried to record this episode of Mystery Dungeon. And the first time, I, I sat down and recorded for around, you know, an hour, 45 minutes, almost two hours and whatnot. Um, and the entire thing got saved as an FLV, uh, FLV file, which, you know, is normally fine. That's a normal, like, it's an okay form of video. But uh, the way I, I record things is I have it so that I have three different audio tracks. I have uh, a separate audio track for my voice, uh, my computer game volume, and uh, a third audio track that I use for, like, Switch game volume, because I, I usually have, like, audio monitoring. I want to, like, edit those separately and whatnot. Um... And because FLV does not provide that option, I was only allowed to have, like, the one audio file. So both my voice and the game audio were, like, mixed together without my, like, my hand on it. And there was no way for me to change that. Uh, so the game audio was just way too loud. And why you couldn't even hear the game, like, hear me talk at all. I'm like, that's not going to make for a good video. And honestly, not much progress was made anyway. Like, it was, it was an hour and 45 minutes of filler, honestly. <laughs> um... So here I am re-recording it, and hopefully going to do a little bit better than I did in that hour and 45 minutes. And hopefully all the audio settings are set up the way that I wanted them to, so that way I can properly edit any things afterward. Because like, if the game audio is too loud, I can actually fix that. If my voice is too quiet, I can fix that. You know, like there's there's a lot of options we have here. Awesome. So in game day two is about to exist. Uh, I skipped past it. Technically, our thing, uh, our team ranked up. Uh, so we should have more storage space now, which means I don't technically have to start recycling everything, but I still kind of want to clean out. Oh, I'm not able to recycle things anyway because it's sentry duty. Dang it! All right, uh, that looks like Meowth. Yeah, because it was cat paw. Boom. That looks like a horse of some sort. Taurus, maybe? I, yeah, horses and bulls, they have the same kind of hooves. Technically deer too, too, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> Uh, that's just a dot. Oh, that doesn't tell me anything. I'm thinking, why not, maybe? 
It's a bright po- what? What do you mean a bright Pokemon? That doesn't help me. It's always smiling. I, okay, I was right with my guess of why not. Ugh. That one, uh, Charmeleon? It's not a bird. Furry, oh, War Turtle, never mind then. <laughs> okay, that looks like a alligator, so it's either Cronar or for alligator, but they're basically the same Pokemon, so I don't know. That doesn't help me. Neither of these are help, that's not, okay. They're the same species. How was I supposed to tell the difference by footprint alone? Come on. All right, and this one, Sand Slash? Am I right? I think I'm right, if I accepted it. Yeah, okay, we're right, good, boom. Huh. I don't think that's my high score, but I think that's a pretty, it's a decently high score. All right, day three, let's get this going. We'll see how this works. Yes, okay, so I can go to the job bulletin board, which means I get to throw all the stuff in my storage out. Yay! I keep looking down at my Streamlabs tab out of habit just to say, like, how many frames have I dropped? How, what's my CPU at right now? And it's like 20% CPU max and like full 60 frames per second. No, no drops or anything. It's nice. It's a good relief to realize that I don't have to worry about that. Oh, man. All right, let's get on that recycle grind. Let's see how this works. Yay, new discovery. Huzzah! Woo! I think this might be my last one. I'm speeding it ahead in the game now. Yeah, that was one of the things I couldn't do with my uh, the previous version of uh, playing this game on my old PC. Uh, there is there is a button to speed up the emulator, and uh, anytime I did it, my computer would just crash. But now I can actually hold down the button and speed it up. Yay! <laughs> All right, we're off to Edible Disc 2 for some missions. I'm very excited about it. Uh, I thought I had another teammate, but I guess it was just us and Sea King now. Okay, fair enough. I think I'm probably going to be a little bit more liberal with the cuts that I have with uh, these kind of filler dungeons and stuff. I I'm going to be very precise with the, the missions that are important. You know, any anything real- Oh, what the heck? Ominous Wind just instantly killed our client? No! No! Why is our client so weak? Holy cow! I kind of wanted that Reviver Seed. I think from now on, I'm just going to instantly use Rare Fossils on literally any scissor I see. Because these things are terrifying. Holy cow. We, we do not allow them to be alive anymore. That's it. No, no more living for scissor anywhere. There's a scissor over here, so you know what that plan is. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. We just got hit with... Heat wave three times in a row because I was slow. Dang it! Okay, you know what? Maybe maybe we shouldn't take the the escort mission, huh? Yeah, we'll just go ahead and delete that right away because I do not like protecting escorts. They are babies, and they steal my reviver seeds. Yeah, what I was trying to say last time I got to this dungeon is that uh, I, I'm probably only gonna leave in the parts where I'm actually talking. And uh, I'm probably going to try and talk a little bit less in the filler dungeons because they're not too important. And you know it. I know it. We all know it. That said, obviously something interesting happens. I'll show it off to y'all. But how often does something interesting really happen in a filler dungeon? It's usually those happen in story dungeons because I'm not over leveled for them. Though I will say that being caught on fire might be might be something I consider interesting in the edit. Also, hold on. I stepped on a trap. Well, that client made us lose. I lost my, my trap evasion thing. What the heck? That was that was really useful. I kinda I kinda want that trap evasion uh, ribbon or whatever it was back. Darn it! Alright, fair. Oh, Goldine's trying to escape. Oh no. Wait, did I lose my rare fossils too? What? Where the heck did this Goldine go? So the Goldine went right. The Geo Pebble fell that way. Um. Continue going. That was a Mag Mortar. Where did the Goldine go? Did I just lose the Goldine? Oh, wait, no. Here you are. Here you are. Heck yeah. I thought I lost you. Goldine, you know. Goldine, this Goldine's just standing here and we're, we're just beating it up. Oh, okay, the Goldine was stuck by a Pokemon behind it. Gotcha, I see. There it is! Now the Goldine's down. Huzzah! Alright, so one of the Pokemon here has a stolen item, so we're gonna have to beat up a, a Pokemon with a stolen item on fifth floor here. Can I 
actually hit the dust clops? Holy cow. Please? There we go, finally. Wow, impressive. Okay, we haven't found the stolen item yet, so we're not going through the stairs. We need, there's some Pokemon we Oh, what the heck, there's a Tedurisa over here. Okay, good to know. Uh, we have one of these Pokemon here. Does it, does it say what Pokemon it is? It doesn't. Okay. There's a Pokemon somewhere in this dungeon that has a stolen item, and I'm gonna have to grab it and snag it and take it back with us. Okay, now I'm not so sure that they're, they actually exist. Was that it? Hold on. The Dustloft's dropped this, so this might be it. No, it wasn't it. It was just a regular Joy Seed. Dang it! Okay, well, where, where else can the Pokemon be? We've explored every inch of this dungeon. Oh! Really? There? Wow, that, that Cedro was doing some very active uh, escapism to try and avoid us for that long. Holy cow. That was actually kind of impressive. Reach the destination floor, and I see the destination Pokemon over here. I know that I'm getting hungry. I don't care. Howdy, Larvitar! That was easy. That was that was honestly a pretty simple mission right there. Pretty easy. <laughs> I've noticed on the on the floors that are basically predestined to be monster houses. Anytime you have a mission that's also for that floor, it won't be a monster house. It'll just be the same room. So this is a one-room monster house floor. But because we had a mission here, it's not a monster house at all. It's just a regular giant room. And you know what? I respect that. That's actually pretty interesting. That's a good mechanic. Okay, so we reached the destination floor. That means Arbok is on this floor. So we're going to find Arbok somehow. There's the stairs, but we're not going to need it because we're going to escape once we find Arbok. Why are there so many Tedurisas with Draco Meteor? I don't like that. It makes me not happy. I know I'm getting dizzy from hunger. I just need to find the Arbok. Found the Arbok! Huzzah! Okay, boom. Love that. <laughs> now, now that Arbok has been found, we do not have to worry about anything else. Yay! Oh, hello? Okay, so... Looks like it's dinner time. Which means that tomorrow, within the game's lore, is going to be the announcement! And I'm very excited for the announcement. Uh, because everyone who's probably- everyone who's watching this probably already knows what's going to be announced. But, uh, I'll, I'll try to let it play out as well. Order! I must have order! <clears throat> so I'm sure the selection of the expedition members have been on everyone's minds. Our guildmaster has apparently made his final decisions! The members will be announced at tomorrow's morning bri tomorrow morning's briefing. Not tomorrow's morning briefing. That is a very different thing. Just kidding. It's just another way of phrasing the exact same thing. Oh, well. Yeah, we're all getting excited about that from the cherry that told us that we're not going to get selected. So I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> yeah, Roosevelt is all nice and nervous and stuff, but... I mean, we did work really hard. We've done the best we could. Even if we don't get picked, I don't regret a thing. And of course, Michael has the internal dialogue of no regrets, but let's be honest. Roosevelt's gonna be crushed if we don't get selected. It's gonna suck. And that that is kind of true, you know? But spoiler alert, I know everything that happens, and uh, Roosevelt doesn't get crushed. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, yes, and I forgot. Okay, so we got a, an additional story cutscene involving... Uh... Pichu! Woo! Yeah! Let's go, Pichu! Honestly, Pichu's just so funny as, like, the perfect replacement for Groval. Because, like, it's so cute, so small, but also it's in Michael's evolution chain. So Michael's gonna be, like, looking up to him and all that jazz. Alrighty, so... Day four, time to start the expedition. Guildmaster, the memo, please. The chosen members are written on this memo. Step forward if your name is called. Hey, <laughs> all right. So, without further ado, I will announce those who've been chosen. Our first member, Pidgeot! Yay, the loudmouth bird! Next up is Deoxys! Yay! Look at the legendary who really shouldn't be surprised that they got picked. <laughs> all right, next is... Oh, what's this? Well, this is a surprise. Our next member is Gastrodon! Really? Really and truly? Calling me? I'm going on the expedition? Hmm? Is anything the matter, Gastrodon? Come on, step forward! I, I sure want to step up, but I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed here. My legs aren't moving. I didn't know you really had legs. I thought you just kind of crawled on the ground. But yeah, Scammery, Lantern, and uh, yeah, and uh, th that's it. There's the expedition party members. Woo! That's it for it. Er, oh, what's this? Huh? There's something scribbled on the margins of the memo. The master's writing is such a messy scrawl. So hard to decipher. Eh, I said that a lot of the consequences would be pretty, 
it appears there are more expedition members. The others are Sharpedo, Polyworld, and Tangela, and Rosabella Michael. Woo! So everyone made it in. Yay, and there was no reason to stress at all. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm skipping forward just a little bit to try and like uh, not not care about any of it. But yes, everyone's so excited that they all get to go on the expedition, and hopefully this will be our chance to encounter some new dungeons that aren't horrible. <laughs> oh, I sent a message. Hey, okay, bigger treasure bag too. That's always helpful. Love treasure. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what happens with this expedition because it feels like every single new like dungeon we encounter, especially new story dungeons. They're always insanely difficult. Like, there's insane amounts of, like, monster houses and just, like, uh, all, all the Pokemon are at a level where we're not overpowering them. And it's just like, cool, thanks. This is always clearly very fun and always exactly what I intended. Um, but, you know what? I, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens on this expedition. Uh, if it's easy, great. If it's hard, great. Entertainment either way. <laughs> Unfortunately, the, the 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 shop did not have any rare fossils, which means we're go are going to be going into this expedition with no rare fossils. Uh, and I don't know how to feel about it. That that's a little bit scary, I'll be honest. But I'm excited. Yeah, we're learning all about Fogbound Lake and all that jazz. I'm just skipping right past it because I know all this. And we're gonna be teamed up with Gastrodon, who in the dungeons is still gonna be Bidoof again. Chapter 7, download.png. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty funny. But yeah, Gastrodon, okay, so as far as I know, the Paracoupa and the Sky Temple team have not found a way to randomize the Pokemon that come with you in dungeons. I'm fairly certain they're hard-coded and stuff. So Gastrodon right here will always be Bidoof, regardless of who he's randomized to, whenever we're in the dungeon. Uh, but yeah, that's it's a little disappointing. But if, you know what? If I'm wrong, I'm sure Paracoupa will like comment below and like tell me that I'm wrong, because that has happened many times before. But yeah, it, it's it's all right. It is what it is. All right. And uh, first problem right here, we've got two entrances, which means that we need to pick a decision between Never Dungeon and Kecleon's Wishful. <laughs> oh, okay. So the naming practices, it's still pretty funny to me. Uh, let's go. I, I know the top one is always the correct answer. So let's go to Never Dungeon. Let's see how this is. But yeah. Okay. So the the way that the oh hold on. So the way that the Mystery Dungeon dungeons are named, they they pull from a list of like first word and second word names that were supplied by uh, guess what my Discord. So if you if you ever want to contribute to future randomizers or anything like that, or just, you know, have a, have a conversation with me and other Mystery Dungeon fans, other ODISF fans and stuff, uh, yeah, hop in the Discord, they have the link below and all that stuff. Uh, it's, it's really fun, it's really cool interactions. All the chapter titles were also suggested by Discord members, so like, this, this is fun, I, I like this. The whole interaction with the community to help define what's gonna happen with the randomizer. Yeah, that explains why both of the first two dungeons we encountered both had Pog as their first word. Uh, cause I feel like we did not get as many first words as we did second words for dungeons and stuff. So, that's fun. Also, lock on specs. Ah, eh, that's not too bad. I'll take any type of specs, let's be honest. I actually don't know what lock on specs do. Hold on, I'll check that afterward. They boost throwing accuracy. Never mind, that is pretty bad. I don't care about that. Um, I'm really hoping goggle specs or x-ray specs. That's, that's optimal over here. This is not optimal, however. This monster house is probably not good, in my opinion. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make the Gengar the substitute. Because I think Gengar has a decent amount of health, right? I don't know for sure. Then we're just gonna try and sneak around. Oh, Mareep just might take out the Gengar nice and easy. I don't like that. Let's just try to sneak around these Pokemon and not deal with them, please. Okay, well that didn't happen. <laughs> That was, that was possibly the quickest kill I've seen in a hot minute. Who do I want to make my next substitute? I kind of want to make Spiritomb my next substitute, but I don't think I'm going to be able to make it down that far. Also, I don't think that uh, Boodoo's going to live that long. Oh, no! I should have used Substitute on the Beedrill. Dang it, then we wouldn't be asleep in Beedrill. Ah, oh, come on, Boodoo. Okay, whatever, that's fine. You know what? It is what it is. It happens. We're not going to we're not gonna have that issue again. Is Floor 2 going to be a Monster House again? Doesn't look like it. Okay, I'll take that. Sure, why not? Oh, wait, hold on. This is one of those two-room floors where one of the rooms is guaranteed to be a monster house. So let me guess, this other room is going to be a monster house, isn't it? 
All of my moves have hit missed this Charizard completely. Really? A fifth time? I might die right here. Okay, let's not let that happen, please. Let's just take out the Machoke. And uh, I should have an Orenberry, right? Yeah, good. Also, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this Joy Seed because I don't trust myself to not to like not forget about it and not die in this next room, which may make us lose it. I knew it! Actually, this isn't too bad. I should stand here. Never mind. Cool. Well, I was gonna say if I stood there and made the Tropius the the substitutes, I could have made it to the stairs. But uh, Charizard said no. I don't get to do that today. That's fine. Whoa! Oh, hold on. That Charizard just sent the substitute flying. Okay, we might actually have a chance of getting to the stairs, because there's no Pokemon near that substitute right now. That was... That was actually perfectly optimal. Oh my goodness. Heck yeah. I love that. Okay, that was... I was not expecting that to be the solution, but that was a good solution. Sleep Talk? I don't think I've even heard of that before. I assume it's a, a move that deals damage while you're asleep? How often do you go to sleep? <laughs> that can be helpful in a mystery dungeon. It would have been really helpful for Alex in Season 1, actually, now that I think about it. Alright, Floor 4, here we are. Boom. Not many items on this floor, which means probably not many rooms in the floor either until we get to the stairs. I may have been mistaken. Honestly, Charge Beam is kind of coming in clutch over here. I, it makes me that I don't have to use the... The... Whatever the one the other move is called. I don't remember. Power Gym. It makes it so I don't have to use Power Gym, which is objectively, like, significantly better than, uh, the... Oh my goodness, what was I just talking about? Why am I so bad at remembering names of things? That's a Wander Gummy, not a Wonder Gummy. I don't want a Wander Gummy. Ooh, rare fossils. Ah, oh, they're sticky, that's fine. You know what, at least I'll have them in the next dungeon. I don't need to worry about them in this dungeon, as long as I have them next time. All right, floor seven. I think this dungeon has eight floors, so I'm I'm not too worried. We're, we're pretty darn close, but there could always be a monster house that just catches us completely off guard. So better safe than sorry, right? I see glasses. X-ray, yes, perfect. Oh, I'll happily take X-ray specs. Oh, thank goodness. Hello. I love being able to see everything on the map. I don't know how helpful it is for y'all since the map's like in a tiny corner, but still. Okay, well, wait, now what? Aha, here's the stairs. Okay, cool beans. And floor eight. We just got one more floor in us. Come on, we can do this, right? We're walking straight into a Pokemon. I see it. Oh, it's a Wurple. Ah, Wurple. I'm so sorry. Goodbye. <laughs> Love Wurmple. Oh my goodness. Wurmple should be like the mascot of the Mystery Dungeon Randomizer, in my opinion. I feel like that would be, that'd be pretty funny. A little egotistical since I'm not the only one playing this randomizer. And, uh, you, you know what? Maybe, maybe Wurmple shouldn't be. <laughs> I have nothing to do with the creation of the randomizer. I just think it'd be funny to have Wurmple be the, the mascot. Wurmple's a funny mascot in general. Maybe I should put Wurmple in my banner. I haven't updated my, my YouTube banner in a hot minute now that I think about it. Yeah, I know, I'm getting hungry. What are you gonna do about it? Okay, Badoof, we, we probably shouldn't let Badoof get bodied over here. Goodness gracious, why is this dungeon so large? Such a big old dungeon. No! What? He got gunk shotted from. for 32 damage! 32! I was just gonna avoid it! What the heck? 32 damage in one move. That that was absurd there. Especially since Badoof only has like 50 health. Like, come on, really? All right, I think I'm gonna give it one last go at this dungeon, and then if it, whether I make it through or not, I think I'm gonna call it an episode. So, yeah. Apparently, Bonsley has lightning rods, so that's fun. Good to know. This looks like a monster house. It's not. Okay. Oh, but the next room definitely is, yeah, because it's the same two-room two, two room floor. Ugh. Oh, look at all these Pokemon. Oh, this is not going to be good. Roar! Blizzard has Roar of Time? Really? You're going to do that to me? Here? Now? Oh, my goodness. 
motor drive. When did the Mareeps wake up? Hold on, why are the Mareeps even awake? They were asleep earlier. God. Oh no, and Badoof's gonna die to a flash fire, isn't he? Watch. Or to a roar of time that somehow didn't even touch him. Yep, okay. Heat wave. Dang it! Ah. All right, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. That is what it is. It is what it is. I said I'd be done with the episode after that dungeon. I made it two floors in, but you know what? It is it, what it is. Um, dang it, that was that was a little unfortunate. But uh, thank you all for watching, and have a fantastic rest of the day. Hopefully, I will be able to make it to the expedition campsite next episode. We'll see. <laughs>